Hello, in this video, I will show you what is new in Empower Charts 8.10. The main subject is improved Excel-Link functionality. So if you have a table and you want to link it to an Excel table that has merged cells, <clears throat> this is possible now. And there are multiple ways to create a link. I will just choose one that you maybe don't know yet is you can right click on the table, say, create Excel link, select your table here, hit okay. And you end up with the uh, linked cells or merged cells in here. Another aspect is you have now an improved color transfer for tables. So if you click here and say, I want to edit the link and I want to use the Excel colors, you can do so. And if you compare it, then everything that has a special color, like here, yellow, red text, green text, will be transferred to PowerPoint. Another new feature is you can copy paste ranges to both empower charts as well as to native charts. So let's try this. <clears throat> I have here this range. I copy it. Then this is a native PowerPoint chart. I paste it here. <clears throat> it will ask me, do I want to convert it to an empower chart and create an Excel link? And if I say yes, it will do exactly that. It will convert to an Empower chart and it will link. <clears throat> and now you have a linked Empower chart. Same goes without conversion. If I have here this range, I copy it. I have here an Empower chart. And if I hit Control V, it is automatically linked. Now in this scenario, maybe I want to um, switch the series orientation. So I would just go here and say my edit link series is in columns. Yeah, and then you have proper data here. Another new functionality is you can copy and paste data to multiple shapes. So I have here six different shapes and I have here six sample cells. If I hit Control C, and if I select these <clears throat> and hit Control V, it will first insert this as text, but also offers me to link. Basically, I could create here six links, um, and then I have six linked um, text objects here. Right, another new functionality is within the Excel link manager, and I will just a change to a different slide. Um, so if I go here to the Excel link manager, I see all my links <clears throat> and I can also basically jump to where the link is and it also gets highlighted here. So it gets very quickly an overview. Okay, this link is here and I can easily jump to it. Another new feature is if I just want to understand, okay, what is linked on this slide? I can just go, go here and say highlight Excel links and then it will show me, okay, this table, these charts and these six objects are linked. Right, that's it for improved Excel links. Then we have within a gun chart connector lines. So if I right click here, um, I can add a connector line and then I can either drag and drop or simply click start and end and create um, connector lines. And I will create another one here. So from here to here, I want to have a connector line. And I can also lock them. So if I lock this, and I also lock this, then that means if I move this object, it will auto automatically move the um, other objects because they have locked connectors. And what you can also do is can now select multiple labels and move them all uh, at once. Minor improvement. 
Right, and then there are some other smaller improvements. First one is um, we have a slightly optimized first selection delay. You can expect more in version nine. We also have now the possibility to show a chart title and you can also turn on or off the grid lines in a chart. And for waterfall charts and some other special charts, we have improved um, help texts. So here within this help button, you get uh, basically a nicer screen that explains you some special functionality in the waterfall chart. Right, that's it for version 8.10. Thank you.